and say, let's go back in here. I appreciate it. Okay, it's after the 8.30 hour. Um, Stokes versus Bank of America, pages 1 and 2 on my 8.37-20032. Council, I haven't done anything in the intervening. There's no one new here. So did any of you get any update by chance on Council for uh, no. Glenn Hansen? No, Your Honor. Joseph Fong for the Stokes parties. Uh, Council and I, we spoke over here, and as the court is aware, we're very, very accommodating in all of these. Cases, but frankly, this motion was fought extremely late, and the court accommodated that side by setting it at this 8:30 session on OST. You mean because it was filed after the time trial was supposed to commence? Yes. So the court made it very, very clear, and I think like firm was like in capitals at 8:30. So we, we want to move forward uh, with or without our argument. The court did. Rule, but uh, our side here, we'd like to move forward, Your Honor. And I also have a nine o'clock hearing. Well, as you can appreciate, as I told everyone, this Wednesday's is my construction defect, and the only way I was trying to balance the fact that I had untimely last minute OSTs when you all are, and the court was taking no position. But remember, your bench trial, whether it's in this department or gets overflowed over to another department, as I told you. June 5th, calendar call June 3rd. We even pushed the calendar call to try and accommodate this particular date with all this new last minute things on a 2015 case that has been closed, reopened, set for trial on multiple occasions and then parties requesting all sorts of different things. So. Um, Ms. Tobin is here. Do you know when your counsel's going to be here? I don't need you. If you don't wish to speak, it's perfectly fine. I'm just trying to get a heads up. I would like to speak. I do then not know. Come. Feel free to come forward and just need you to at least state your name. I'm not saying that you're a party or anything because that's going to be my first question to your counsel was showing me somewhere where you were a party in this case. But do you happen to know when your counsel's planning on getting here? No, I don't. Okay, well. This court, as you know, is incredibly accommodating to people to try and meet everyone's needs, which is why we will set things early and we will set things in the middle. I have a wonderful team that helps making sure everyone gets accommodated. Um, seems to me I can wait a few moments. You're represented by counsel, so the only reason I could ask you the procedural question, if you happen to know when your counsel's here, I can't have you on anything substantively because my first question based on pleading, and I'm not going to go into anything substantive, I'm just explaining what my first question was going to be after appearances, is based on an opposition that was filed by, I'll call it the Stokes Party, where it re asked the court to go back and see who the, quote, parties were in this case. The first question this court was going to ask to see if any way you, Ms. Tobin, are here in any individual capacity. When I, I will say this because I will repeat it again, is after, based on a prior hearing where everyone said that it was only Ms. Tobin as trustee back to 2016, of course not taking any position, I went back and looked in this case, I looked in the consolidated case, and so my first question was going to be of your counsel, is there anything he could show me where you were here in an individual capacity based on any ruling of the court. I'm not asking that question yet because I need to have counsel here, but that's why I'm just trying to explain to you why I can't go into anything substantively because there's a question that has been raised about whether you, Ms. Tobin, are in this case in any manner in any individual capacity or only as a trustee and as a trustee of a trust represented by counsel. So that's just my two-second explanation of why I can't go any farther at this juncture. We'll wait a few moments to see if counsel's going to be here, and then I will take this case, if counsel gets here, till the time I need to move on to my CD, which you can see by the... This is only part of it. There's a whole cart. Is the cart in here yet? Oh, the cart's about to get in here. There's a whole cart full of motions. There's approximately about 110 including joiners, et cetera, that we need to start on time with, with the parties that properly had this day set aside for them. So 
that's the challenge I told you all existed, which is why we said everyone needed to be here ready to go at 8.30, and I appreciate traffic happens, but I got a whole courtroom full of people that seem to have made it through, and that just means you leave your house a little bit earlier. So let's wait a few moments, see if we have plaintiff's counsel, and then we'll see what I can move forward. In the intervening time, you, feel, you can feel free to sit down. I'm just going to see if one of my, my really quick 9 o'clock matter could possibly is here, and maybe I can address that. Is by chance anyone here on the Henning versus DR Horton, which is also on my 9 o'clock pages 14 to 21?